BakuBrad96 here with a new Bakugan Evolutions Battle Strike pack unboxing. This is the Aquas Platinum Nilius and Darkest Titan King version. So, including are those previously mentioned Bakugan, as well as a Core Ventus Blitzfox, Core Hydras, the Nanogon Darkest Scorcher, and Pyrus Riptide. Now, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get them out of this packaging to make more room, and I will review them. Just get it off screen here. There we go, that was done quick. Everything's got to be so seriously taped in. But yeah, so definitely uh, happy to pick up this set. I've had it for a while, but I did want to get the Rarity Series started before I did do this unboxing. But now that I am getting to it, I am excited because this will be my first Darkest Geogon of Evolutions. And that Nanogon Scorcher there does make my third Darkest Nanogon. So I do have a full set of Nanogon for my Darkest team. But enough of that. Time to get these Bakugan out of the plastic. So we can all take a better look. Just going to get the scissors here. I do have them. If I can get a good angle. Of course, these are not very sharp at all. Alright, looks like the ones for Blitzfox are clipped. And that got Hydrus. Nothing like 4 cl 4K clip stripping, right? This is high def. Why did they strip the Nanogon in? That's crazy. Ugh. Okay, I think I'll just try to pop those out. But, more or less, we've got most of them ready. Okay, I was wrong. Doesn't seem like any of them pop. But... There's the Hydrus. They are really in there good. I attempted to get the plastic strip snipped and I failed miserably. Everything is falling. I'm in luck though, this unboxing hasn't failed yet because the camera hasn't gone crashing. That only happened once before and that was with the Aquas Krakenoid from Geogun Rising. But bear with me brawlers. I almost have everything out of the packaging. There we go. Yeeting that away. And there is the last Nanogon. That was crazy. I swear if it wasn't for theft all over, that would not be a problem. Way too many plastic strips, the packaging. But here is the checklist. Nothing new. Seems to be the same Wave 1 checklist everyone's getting. I wonder if they will update that one like they normally do. I'm assuming they will. Just don't know when. Now then, for the gate cards included, because might as well start off with those, because why not? There is this one featuring the artwork of Arcleon. Really cool. 600 to Pyrus. 100 to Aquas. 100 to Ventus, 600 to Chaos, 100 to Arliss, and 100 to Darkus with the orange shield core symbol there. It is a duplicate. I do already have one of these. Next up, a gate card featuring the artwork of Triple Blazing Barrage, I believe. Um, but really cool, Nilius attacking Pinsitar there. 300 to Pyrus, 300 to Aquas. 100 to Ventus, 100 to Chaos, 200 to Arlus, and 600 to Darkest. So, a really good Darkest gate card. 
with the orange Bakukor symbol there. The orange Bakukor, the orange shield, sorry. And then finally, I don't know what's up with the, uh, the artist, but Pinsitar is getting destroyed in this artwork because now he's taking a hit from Darkest Slugler there. Anyway, 100 to Pyrus, 100 to Aquas, 600 to Ventus, 100 to Heos, 600 to Arliss, and 100 to Darkest, with a Flaming Fist core symbol below. A decent gate card, I actually believe this one is new, but don't quote me on that because I'm not 100% sure. You get so many gate cards from the uh, all of the sets of Bakuyan, hard to keep track of them all. Now then, taking a look at the Baku core before we even know what Bakugan they go to. Looks like we get two Magic Shield, one plus 500, one plus 600. Set those over there. And I guess I'll lay out the gate cards too, because why not? Um, next, looks like two Iron Shields. 1 plus 300 and 1 minus 300. So pretty cool that the set comes with both of those there. And then finally some really good Baku Core it looks like. The plus 300 B power plus 3 damage Helix. And the plus 250 B power and plus 3 damage Flaming Fist. So those are very good core. Not bad at all. Now for the actual Bakugan stats. Starting off with Darkest Titan King, really cool, 300 for a B power of 500, 300, sorry about that everyone, 3 energy for a B power of 500 and 5 damage, on a helix score it is going to get plus 1000 B power though, very interesting, I don't see a lot of Darkest Bakugan or Geogon that really are geared toward um, helix decks, so really nice, um, really cool to uh, have as well. Like I said, the first Darkest Geogon of Evolutions uh, for my collection. Really, really cool. Don't know if I'll use it yet, but I might. Platinum Nilius is next. Looks like it has a double blue or double magic shield lineup, which is really nice. B power of 100 with 7 damage. And then on a blue shield or on a magic shield, you actually get to steal an opposing active Bakugan's Bakugor and put it on your own active Bakugan. So Aqua's Platinum Nilius is very strong. Um, arguably, like, really good. Um, low B power, but that doesn't matter with that effect. And again, double blue shield could possibly double core. I will check that in a moment. But I'm thinking alongside Bakugan, like Aquas Oxidox, Apophix, or Sharktar Ultra from Geogun Rising, you could have one heck of a, a Magic Shield Aquas team. I might do that in the future. Let me know in the comments down below if you would all like to see that kind of deck. Because Platinum Nilius, or at least Aquas, could definitely do that. Put those right there. Oh. See, there's the remnants of those darn plastic strips all over the arena. So slide those there. That's better. Now, moving along. Arliss Hydrus, a Flame Fist and Helix Core. B power of 900 with 3 damage. And then Victor. This also allows you to steal a Baku Core from an opposing active Bakugan and place on your own. So... This pack comes with a lot of uh, Bakugor stealing effects. Really cool, and of course that is a new mechanic for evolutions. So it's nice that these new evolutions Bakugan have it. Now then, it is Ventus Blitzfox's turn to be reviewed. Double orange shield, B power of 600 with 4 damage. And then this one, though it does have one of the new mechanics, it is different. On a orange shield, you get to remove an opposing active Bakugan's Bakugor and place it back onto the field. So really good uh, defensive against the opponent. Very interesting Ventus Bakugan as well. 
Not as strong as the Aquas Platinum Nelius, but in an Orange Shield deck, I could see it going good. Um, you could also use it with Platinum Ventus Sectinoid as well. So there are options there. Now finally for the Nanogon, starting out with Pyrus Riptide on Green Fist plus 200 B Power, and then on Double Green Fist plus 600 B Power. That's pretty decent, um, really good. Probably could be used with Platinum Dragonoid for this, you know, for evolutions, as well as other Green Fist Dominant Bakugan in the Pyrus attribute. Or paired with Ventus Bakugan, you'd use it with Serpilius and really combo off. Because there's a lot of Green Fist decks, so I can see that being used. Now then, Darkest Nano Scorcher. So this is pretty cool. On a Flaming Fist, plus 200 B-Power. And then on Double Flame Fist, plus 600 B-Power. So very cool. Not to mention, I did just pick up my Darkest Blitz Fox. So I have the Darkest Scorcher to go along with it. Very nice. Now then, time to take a look at the figures, and while taking a look at those, I might as well roll them out just to see how they are. So, I'll take the time to move the cards out of the way, slide everything back, get these plastic strips out of the way. Alright. I'm going to pretend I don't suck so badly at rolling, so the gate cards are going to go in the back. And I'm going to put the Baku Core up front like I know what I'm doing. I'll still probably miss on all of these, but if anything, all of you have a good laugh and hit that like button while you're doing it. Now then, taking a closer look at the Platinum Aquas Nilius. Very interested to see that they did not use any of the translucent plastic. It would have been very nice to see the same look that they used on Shark Tar, but I don't mind it too bad because you do get that really nice chrome interior with the die cast metal. And I just like Nilius, you know, all around overall. Really cool Bakugan. So to close up, just put the little feet in, the tail, its side heads, then the wings hold those down, with the middle head holding everything in place, and that is Aquas Platinum Nelius. Once again, a very tight design, you know, it's not loose at all. The heads bounce just a bit, but they don't go out of the actual sphere shape, so you don't have any points or jagged edges. Just a very clean, crisp looking Bakugan. And now I will try to roll it out. Will it stand like my elemental did? It will, so a very strong magnet. It hit the minute it rolled over the core, which is a good sign. Um, see if it can double core right quick. And it can, so the right circumstances if you roll it just right, Aquasnelius can double core. So very good, you know, a lot of good potential there. Assuming they all can double core like that. Let's reset the uh little gimmicky matrix I've got going on here. And since it's opened all the way, take a look at Ventus Blitzfox next. Um, really cool, I have noticed that the core Ventus Bakugan 4 evolutions are more of the lime green rather than the dark green that they use on the Platinums and the Ultra. Now of course I only have the Ultra Enoch to base this on, and then the Platinum Drago and Sectinoid, but that does seem to be the case because both this Blitz Fox and the Cornelius are more lime green than the other ones. 
So I'm just assuming that's how the paint scheme is going to go, but I have no idea. Just a theory. So to close Blitz Fox, for those of you who don't know, front feet in, back half, head in, top of the tail, and then side tails. Very simple Bakugan to close and very nice as well. Once again, a tight, solid shape with no jagged edges. The Bakugan and Evolutions are really nice because they are all very spherical so far. I haven't found any other than the Enoch remake that are, you know, not very smooth. But I'm going to try and roll out this Blitz box here. If I can get it to hold straight. Nope, fail. Off camera fail. Okay. And once again, directly on the immediate core roll down. And can it, it can double. That was a very faint double core, but yes. So, looks like Core Blitz Fox is a doubler as well. My Darkest Blitz Fox did this too. Gee, so this set has two Bakugan that can potentially double core. That's really good. That is really good. But the action and the excitement does not stop there, my friends. Because now, I will be taking a look at the Arliss Hydrus. Still waiting to get the uh, new Aquas version, but I don't think it's been released yet. This is the Arliss, looking extremely yellow, extremely gold. Camera couldn't even focus in on it. I still don't know how I feel about the new Arliss design. At least this one's not the burnt orange like Platinum Shark Tar. That thing looks like a sweet potato, but I guess the really light gold with the uh, glittery effect is tolerable. I did like the more machine style of the Battle Planet Arliss. So to close the Hydras though, you do throw the little arms in there, then the head down. And in, I believe, so you kind of close the front half, and the back half does slide in place. That is the Arliss Hydrus. Time for the roll. So far, the Bakugan have been rolling very good in this set. I had to jinx it. Um, in all fairness, it did open, but it did open on a gate card. But at least I did open it, so that magnet does work decently. If I can stand the Bakugan, you know the magnet works. Now, it can't necessarily be rolled, but here is that Darkest Titan King in the new paint scheme for Darkest. All of that translucent magenta plastic looking very nice. You have the uh, silver or chrome finishes. Really cool, as well as the brushwork of that light blue. On the sides, the crystals. The fists, very interesting, really, really nice. It's certainly a different looking Bakugan, especially with just the flat black body, rather than the uh, grayer black they kind of went with with some Bakugan. Very interesting. But to close this one, so just head, then wrap the arms around, like so, and then the feet in. Uh, yes, no, maybe. What did I do wrong? Okay, head down, arms in, and then the feet. There we are. And that is the Titan King, cubed up. So, can't give it a good drop here right quick. Card above. Oh. Well, uh, well this Geogon misses. Don't know how I feel about that. Gonna give it one more time. Okay, so that's better. Did it double? Oh, the Geogon doubles, so two Bakugan and the Geogon. Well, that still counts. That still counts as a double. I'm counting it. So, pretty epic. Both the Platinum Aquas Nelius, the Ventus Blitzfox double core, and now the Geogon double cores. I do want to check if the Arliss Hydrus can do it, just... Okay, so the Arliss Hydrus cannot do it. 
I know this video is a little longer. Bear with me. Because the last thing to review, and I will do it quickly, here is the Nano Scorcher. This one does not fold out as much as the others. It does have a small tailpiece here. But other than the small tailpiece and like the body slides forward a little bit, that's about all it does. It does have a movable head as well. And then Pyrus Riptide. Its head also is movable, as well as a movable tail. And then the little pincers. And that is it for this set. Um, overall, I've got to say, pretty cool. Very interested in this haul. Um, for a Battle Strike pack, I was impressed. All the Bakugan have decent stats. As a team themselves, it's well balanced. Even though you can't use the Nanogon or the Geogon included. I would make this a team. Only because the Neelius and Blitzfox double core. And that is just epic. But using them separately in their own teams is equally as good. Especially if you want to get use out of the Titan King and the other Nanogon. But, Brawlers, thank you for tuning in and thank you for watching. Before you leave, don't forget to show your support by subscribing to the channel because 78% of you watching are not, and I want to change that because if you like Bakugan, and I'm talking about unboxings, gameplay, deck profiles, and monthly raffle giveaways, then my channel is the channel for you, and you should subscribe. But, until next time, stay safe, Brawlers. Drum up and remember, Bakugan Brawl.